In today's video, I will show you how to make a complete content calendar filled with ideas using ChatGPT and Excel. So let's get started with the video. Hey guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Here you can see I have written my prompt. I've also added my content pillars like Instagram tips, Canva tutorials, hacks, and how to become a social media manager. So those are my content pillars. Your content pillars can be very different from what mine are. So just add yours in place of mine. And then there are uh, then there is this complete table that is created because I told you at GPT to create a complete table for me. Now, I wasn't satisfied with the dates that were provided. So I also told ChatGPT, can you give me a complete March content calendar and increase the length of the captions because I feel the captions of one line are too small. And also it has mentioned IGTV, which IGTV is no longer available on Instagram. So I told uh, ChatGPT to remove that particular piece of content from the calendar. So this is how basically you, you know, refine your answers in ChatGPT by basically giving uh, it more instructions about what you want exactly. And trust me, it will make your work so much more easier. So as you can see, it has generated a complete calendar for me. If you're not satisfied with the answer, you can tell ChatGPT to redefine your answer uh, in what you want exactly, specifically. Uh, you can also define the tone of the language that you want your answers in, which is also super cool. So, yeah, this is how you basically you create a complete content calendar. So now once you're done with your content calendar, just click everything, select everything from the content that ChatGPT gave you and then paste it in an Excel sheet. Now here click on the icon that I am clicking over here so that everything is properly aligned and inside the column then adjust the column that has a lot of data in order to make it look more appealing. So now you can see here I am adding a column above this section to give it a heading. Um, I will be adding here the topic and the content title over here. So you can see um, this is quite flexible and you can change according to what your needs are for a content calendar. You can even create like a custom column here uh, saying content pillars and then having the topic right besides the content pillar. You can even skip the content pillar topic if you do not need that. You can add the media type here and you can add the captions over here. Try to make it look more appealing because this is something that you're going to see every single day. So I hope you understood this part. Now we're going to um, make it look a bit nice. So here you can see I've added a color on the heading so it looks a bit more neat and efficient. Uh, now, mind you, there are different tools as well that you can use for um, a content calendar. It's totally up to you if you want to use Trello or Airtable, but this is the most basic thing that you need to create um, in order to, you know, get a good planning session for your content um, and what goes out on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn every particular week. So this makes your task a bit easier when you plan stuff beforehand. Uh, if you want your free content calendar, I have mentioned the link in the description box. You can grab your free content calendar. It's absolutely free. I, I have also attached a Loom video where I show you how to use that particular content calendar. So you can go check that out. Sometimes the uh, email for that goes into the spam video spam folder. So just make sure that uh, you are uh, downloading it from the proper email. So now once you're done with that, you can ask ChatGPT to give you a longer caption because I feel like it gives me very short captions in the first go. So I'm asking ChatGPT to give me a hook statement, a storyline, and a call to action. So what this will do is it will tell ChatGPT that okay, now I this 
uh, captions are not okay for her so i need to redefine the captions that i provided in the first go right this will redefine the captions that it already provided and it will uh, give me in a format that i have told it to do so here you can see it has started to give me some um, format here you can see a hook statement a storyline and a call to action now also you do not need to directly go and copy paste these answers into the sheet excel sheet you can redefine them a bit you can add what you need what you know about the topic and then post it so this will this is like a good start for you you don't have to start from scratch uh, you don't completely also have to rely on chat gpt to do all the work for you so what you're gonna do is you're gonna select each of the options and then paste it in the excel sheet and then redefine the answers so that it can go out on your social media platform.